per many people's requests, I have made a ladybug keychain tutorial. Really easy to do. I'll go over all the materials, everything you'll need. It'll be listed in the description box below. This is super simple. If you're looking for another really easy project, I also have a mini mallard duck that takes less time than these guys take, which is maybe 30, 40 minutes max. Some materials you will need, this keychain attachment. I bought mine off Amazon. Everything that I have used for this project, I will link in the description box below. Safety eyes, two colors of yarn, scrap yarn basically in red and black. Scissors, I recommend a bent tip darning needle. Could use straight, it works just fine too. I just prefer using the bent. And then you will need the 22 knitting machine. I use an Addy. Cast on with your black yarn first. Remember to set your counter to zero. Cast on between the black and white pin and go to every other needle as normal. With the Addy 22 pin, you wanna make sure you keep your tension fairly loose when you cast on. Always end your cast on at the back of the last white pin. Knit six rows. When you get to the end of your sixth row, you'll stop between the white and black pin. Cut your yarn. You only need a couple inches so that you can tie it to the red yarn. Add your red yarn to the machine. Knit around 25 rows. While the project is on your machine or afterwards, ensure that you secure the ends by tying a knot and double securing it. I do like to cut off the ends to prevent it from showing through in the project later. I will do that after I take it off the machine. Continue around for 25 rows in the red color. You should end at row on your counter 31. And if you didn't reset the counter to zero when you added the red yarn, then you should end at row 31. Cut your yarn, leaving a couple inches to secure it. Grab your black yarn, put your red yarn in the middle between the white and black pins. Add the black yarn, knit six rows, which means you should end at 37. At the end of row 37, you should end between the white and black pin. I will secure my two ends here snugly, cut 18 inches off, and you will cast off next. Grab your darning needle, thread it, and start going and picking up every loop around the machine to cast off. If you need a slower demonstration on how to cast off, I will add a link above on how to do that. This is simply casting off with your main color yarn of the machine because after this, we will cinch the two ends after you've doubled it up. Let's take the project out of the machine. We'll start working on the ladybug. If you haven't already, ensure you turn it inside out and secure those ends really well. I'm gonna cut my ends off just so they don't show through, but you can tie them two or three, four times just to make sure they're very secure and leave them inside there. Now grab your one end and you're going to place it inside the other end. So we're doubling it up. Draw your inside yarn end through to the front and tighten that up first. I always gonna do the inside one first, just cinch it by simply pulling tight on the black end, pull tight on the second black end, Closing up that hole as best you can. Grab the two ends and tie them in a very secure, as snug as you can get it, not without breaking the yarn. I did double, and what I will do is grab both ends and put it back through because I like this end better than the other. And I will basically go on the outside of it and also catching one end of it inside here. And I'll show you what I do here just to have extra security. Just take out one of the yarn ends, keeping the other one on your needle, and go to the other side here and grab a couple loops, pull it through. So now you're, you have your loops on both ends of that hole in the center, and do another double knot to secure your project, even better. That really helps prevent the hole from opening up or anything like that. Now cut your ends, you'll need these here soon later to make the markings on the back of the ladybug. Oh, stay up little man. Here's the start of your ladybug. I'll tell you what we do as far as the construction. You're gonna use a length of red yarn to create a drawstring over here. You'll eventually cinch that tight, stuff it. But before you do all of that, you want to add your eyes. You'll wanna embroider your black line dots on the top, then stuff it, cinching at the end, adding your keychain to the top. I'll show you how I do those things. I have my safety 
eye auxiliary tool and I'm using a pink color eye this time. I am going to go with a little bit smaller of a size because I think those eyes are a little too big for that one. And you just want to find a place that you think would look good for your eyes to be. The nice thing about having this open end is you can just kind of test out where you think it should go. Test it out here and see if this is where I like the eyes to be. And if not, it's easy to move them before you place the backing onto them. I will turn it inside out. And if you don't know how to use safety eyes, I will show you. It's going to have a conical look. So you take it and have it placed pointed downwards like so. You could use the tool. I will put the first click in there by hand and then use the tool. So I save my fingertips because it's hard to get on there. Next, I'll use my safety tool, safety eye auxiliary tool, and just press down so that it's secure. And I did that to both sides. So now it's in there. Grab yourself a small length of red yarn. I'll show you how I embroider the mouth. Only using a small length, maybe six to eight inches. Starting from the inside, pick a spot that you'd like the smile to start. Just kind of test it out, see where you think it would look nice. And pick the same spot on the other end, drawing it through without losing that first yarn end side. Go down in the center. So I just eyeball it because that's just easier for me to do to eyeball it. However you want to do it, this is just my way. I'm going to secure the two ends just to make sure that that's not done yet. This next step you don't have to do, but I think it sometimes helps make it look a little nicer. Then you could go through again, leave an end there, and just go around to smooth it out. Once you're happy with your results, tied off. And these parts I will leave inside. And I failed to mention that you also will need polyfill for your project. We're not there yet though. Grab your black yarn, ones that you had cut off earlier. We're going to go ahead and start doing these cute little typical ladybug markings that you have on a ladybug. And I totally randomly place them, but you can be more strategic if you really want to be, however you want to do it. Yeah, I like to do it kind of in that shape, little V's. That's just how I like to do it. And it is completely random where I place them other than evenly on both sides. It's good. Do the exact same thing on the other side. Add your polyfill or yarn scraps, whatever it is that you have and then you prefer to use. Grab a length of the red yarn because we're going to create the drawstring in order to cinch the bottom of it. Make sure you have it tug on it. Make sure you have the really last layer, last row of red. Pick a spot and grab two loops. You're going to go around and grab every other every two loops. So you skip two loops, you grab two loops, skip two, grab two, skip two, grab two. Continue doing this all the way around in order to create the drawstring effect. If you went all the way around and skip two and grab two, you should end up with two in the middle because it is an even number. And now just go skip one and grab one because you want to end in the same hole that you started with because then you will tighten it up Continue stuffing if you need to with more polyfill if you need to make your ladybug a little bit thicker. Tie that up, secure it real well so that you don't have a hole. You'll probably have to go back and forth there, and then I'll show you how I add the keychain. If you've tied it off, grab both of them and find the middle top of your ladybug and draw those two ends through. Another way you can do it is stab right through the middle of the base and go straight up to the top. Now I did change darning needles to a straight long one because it's going to be easier as you go up and down. Grab your keychain, place it through, go back down through a different hole and up. You will do that several times to really secure that keychain in place. The first time through I went through the same hole and I knotted it so that the knot will be hidden inside when I go back through into the ladybug. Now you don't want to pull too tight down below because you don't want to indent uh, your the top of your ladybug. So now you can see where that's going to be hidden. So you can't see the knot. You'll want to go back and forth a few times. Do 
draw the ends through a different hole and cut them out and they will pop back inside and hide in there and now you have your ladybug if you're looking for another really easy pattern like this that takes maybe half an hour max check out my videos i have linked here